hello everybody welcome back if you're new to my channel thank you so much for stopping by and today's many we are making drop donuts or party style donuts let's get started For our ingredients, we need an all-purpose flour. We need some milk. I'm using evaporated milk. Some sugar. Salt. Butter. I'm going to list everything in the measurements in the description box. I have some nutmeg, one egg, baking powder, and some powdered milk. So I have my butter and my flour, I'm just going to mix everything to make sure it's well mixed together. When you're making drop donuts or uh, party style donuts, uh, make sure you don't add too much butter. The more butter you add, it's going to be soggy because we remember you're going to deep fry this later on, okay? That's why I'm going to list everything so you use exact measurements for this recipe. So the butter and the flour is well mixed together. I added my baking um, powder, my salt, and my nutmeg. Mix everything together. You can use a, a spoon um, to mix it if you're not comfortable using your hand. I'm adding my sugar to it and my uh, milk powder or my powdered milk. Um, the powdered milk is optional. I just love adding it to this recipe because it makes it extra creamier. But if you don't have it, you could just ignore this part. But if you have it, just use it and you will love the taste of it. I'm adding my egg to it. And my vanilla extra. And that's one teaspoon. I'm now adding my evaporated milk. Um, if you don't like evaporated milk, you could use regular milk. But this recipe really calls for evaporated milk. It makes the uh, drop donuts really, really tasty, like really creamy. But yeah, if you don't like it, you could use the regular um, gallon milk if you have that, okay? Mix this really well so everything is combined together so you have that creamy texture. Uh, as I said, if you're not comfortable, use a, a spoon or a hand um, wicks to do this. So I added extra like three tablespoons of um, water to it because the texture was too thick. And when you're making drop donuts, you want to have that um, right consistency because if it's too thick, the donut is going to be too hard. So I added extra three tablespoons of water to it. All right. I'm going to list everything so you have the exact measurement. And we are done. This recipe is ready to, to fry. With this recipe, you don't need to wait um, for an hour or anything to let it rise. You just go ahead and deep fry it, okay? You just don't need to wait. Just go ahead and fry. If it's like regular puff puff, yeah, then we have to like wait. But this is drop donuts, um, party style donuts. Just go ahead and deep fry it. And I'm frying this under medium high. It's not too high, it's not too low. Because remember, if it's too low, it's gonna be soggy. And if it's too high, it's gonna brown and not cook in the inside. So make sure you check um, the fire when you're frying this part, all right? And we're gonna fry this till it's golden brown. And when we're making drop donuts, we don't really make it like the biggest size. Um, it's really on the smaller sizes. Alright, so it depends on you. You can make it extra big, but this is the sizes that we grew up seeing. They make it a little bit smaller than the usual um, puff puff or buffaloes, okay? So this is how I make my the sizes. And our party style donut is ready. Really looking beautiful. Yeah, you want to make sure it's golden brown and that's it. Perfect. 
and ready to be taken out. Yeah, take this out and continue frying the rest of the butter. So with the second batch that I'm frying, I'm making it extra small. Usually this is the size of um, donuts that you see when you go to like gardening parties and stuff. Um, yeah, they don't make it um, on the medium side. They really make it like extra small. So it's enough for everybody to have a piece. So yeah, I'm making it extra small for the second batch. And our second batch is ready, really pretty, golden brown, and it tastes really good. This recipe is really easy to follow and easy to make. Make this for friends and families, and they're gonna love it. The holiday season is almost here, so yeah, this is something that you could put on your, on your menu for friends and family to enjoy. And we're going to break into one for you to see and look at that see it's not saggy it's not like soaked with butter really really nice moist in the inside and tastes really good all right everybody thank you so much for watching until i come your way next time this is cook with naki be good to yourself be good to everybody it goes a long way